Hello and welcome to the winners. VFL football, finals time and an exciting time to be in Melbourne, especially when the spring weather is like it was yesterday for the preliminary final between Hawthorne and Fitzroy. A special program for you this week with not only highlights of the game and interviews with John Platten, Rodney Ead and David Parkin, but we draw our competition for the mark and goal of the year and there'll be two lucky winners out there who'll win a berth at next week's grand final. A guest appearance by the VFL Commissioner Jack Hamilton, who next month ends a 38-year 38 38-year association with the league. So a top hour in store for you. Don't go away. Well, the whole town was talking about the Roy boys. Downtrodden Fitzroy, with only one premiership in their history, broke and uncertain about their future, had worked their way this far with a series of near miracles. They went, won their last home and away game by 10 points to scrape into the finals, and then they won their two finals games by one point and five points. They went in yesterday against Hawthorne, whom they'd beaten both times during the season, with the incentive of a place in only their second ever grand final. But Hawthorne had finished on top of the ladder and looked the best team all year. It was only the shock reversal to Carlton last week in the second semi-final which had cost the Hawks a direct passage to the grand final. Could the Hawks regain touch and make their fourth successive premiership playoff or could the Lions fairy tale continue? Well, there were 68,000 people at VFL Park and we pick it up at the opening bounce with commentators Clark Hansen, Jeff Leake and Ian Robertson. The 1986 preliminary final from VFL Park. Hawthorne and Fitzroy, a chance to play in the grand final. 